high fans of high quality entertainment. As some of you know, I'm going to be starting my John Lennon ranking and review series. And I didn't know if I should include his uh, three experimental albums with Yoko Ono or not, so I asked in my community, and I think the percentage was, I think something like 61% said yes. So that's what I'm going to do. The only thing is, is I don't have any of them on CD. So what did I do? That's right, I ordered them on CD. And I received two versions. Now, two or three years ago, I did the uh, vinyl unboxing of it. So I will do the CD unboxing of it. And I also received just Oh, Ooh, it's dented a little bit. I'm not happy. John and Yoko's wedding album, which I've never had. I think I've heard bits of it on Spotify, but I've never heard, heard the whole album. And I know the original vinyl came with tr trinkets and money and <laughs> no, the marriage certificate. And and then I also received this box set. I have no idea what it is. This, I mean, box from Amazon. It, I also ordered Life with the Lines, but I think that's not going to get here until early February. God, I ordered this. I needed a, a new shaver because my other shaver died. I'll do an unboxing and I'll do a review and I'll and I'll shave. And best of all, I can trim my nose hairs. So yeah, the only one I'm missing is uh, Life with the Lines, which I did own on vinyl back in the day. There's there's an upcoming story. I think it's my top 10 Beatles related stories from my whole life. And it includes uh, Life with the Lions, my experience with that, that some of you might not have heard of before. So first of all, I will open John Lennon, Yoko Ono, Two Virgins. And I never had this thankfully, <laughs> when it came out, because 58, 68, I was like 11 years old. I don't think my, my mom would approve me having two virgins. Doesn't sound right. Anyway. And the hype sticker very careful with it. There we go. So much for hype. And I forgot to mention, as, as you know, or some of you know, I keep promoting it, I have a Patreon uh, page, three dollars a month, where you can request album and song and songs for me to react to and listen to, and the music can be played over there on Patreon. That's why I'm so excited about I would do it here on YouTube if it wasn't for copyright issues with everything. It's always a headache. And so uh, what I'm going to do as extra on Patreon is I'm going to react to all of these experimental albums on my Patreon page, starting with this one. And I don't know if anybody's going to want to watch the whole video of me listening to this, but it's going to be on my Patreon in the next few days. So join today. So there it is. And I know it's uh, coming. My stomach is hurting a bit. Hmm. 
Oh, that's different. Was was that on? No. <laughs> I saw it. Whoa! Whoa! I'm going to have to blur it for YouTube because they do not allow nudities on, on YouTube. But you saw my reaction. That was a real, real reaction. It was right in my face. Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> but that, that's okay. And that, that's okay. That's kind of nudity, but it's, it's just a drawing. Don't be offended by a drawing. And the back cover. When two great saints meet, it is a humbling experience. The long battles to prove he was a saint. Paul McCartney. Unfinished music number one, two virgins, Yoko Ono, John Lennon. Can't wait to hear this. <laughs> and then a white protective label here. And now, was this on the Apple label or the Zapple label? I'm confused, but it looks like the Apple label. <sighs> this is the one, I believe, where side one is them just repeating, like, John and Yoko calling to each other in different John, Yoko, John, Yoko for like 20 minutes. Can't wait to, can't wait to listen to it on Patreon. So that's that. And now, like I said, I've never had this in my lifetime. And it's on the secretly Canadian record label. They also re remastered or from from that company the the uh, Yoko Ono early CDs, which I love. By the way, I do. I love a lot of her music. The experimental stuff, <laughs> I'm not as crazy about, but I mean. It's still, I'm, I'm happy to have this in my collection. Like, have everything. And it's interesting to listen to it at least once. Yeah, John and Yoko. John, Yoko, Yoko, John. They're bed in for peace, which they also did in Toronto. I, think Montreal? Or was it just Montreal? It was Toronto too, wasn't it? I don't know. Only thing is, this one's dented a little bit. I'm not happy. But I'll live with it. Then the CD, same label. Three D. Woohoo. So yes, I will 
do a full video reaction on Patreon for the wedding album, which I have never... I, like I said, I might have heard bits of it, but certainly haven't sat and listened to the whole thing in one sitting. Mirrored certificate, which came with the original vinyl. Pictures. Actually, the other one I need to get is, uh, although I'm not ranking live albums, but still, I'd like to get uh, Live Peace in Toronto. I remember seeing that as a kid when it came out on vinyl, and it included a calendar, and you could see it was kind of just all crunched in the <laughs> vinyl record. So it's definitely going to be a challenging listen, kind of like Lou Reed's Metal Machine music, which I did in the live chat. Uh, I might end up enjoying them. You never know. Because like I said, I think there are there is a song or two on these albums. On uh, the, white, the Wedding album, I believe. It doesn't have any track listings, though. Oh, sorry. It does. Uh, side one... It's called John and Yoko. And side two is Amsterdam, 24 minutes. Which I believe it's I believe it's an interview, I'm not sure. I don't know. And the track listing for two virgins. I must have skipped it. Yeah. Uh, unfinished music side one. It's just, it just says side one. It's just called side one. I didn't know that. And side two is called side two. 14 minutes. Each, each side is about 14 minutes long. Bonus tracks, which I'm not going to include in the review and ranking, but I'm going to listen to it, is Remember Love. And that's a song where Yoko actually sings. And I, like I said, I love Yoko's songs, you know, with, have music in them for the most part. But uh, it's going to be a fun listen. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.